uh, this video is going to demonstrate uh, solving for the denominator but using the trigonometric ratios. Uh, you, so you can see in this example uh, we've got our angle 47 degrees, it's a right angled triangle so that's indicated by the little square in the corner. We currently know the adjacent side, so the side that's adjacent the angle is 26 and we've got to find the hypotenuse side. So the two sides in question are the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So if we bring up our trigonometry uh, remembering tool, so it's Sokatoa. Now remember this is a little memory tool to help us to remember the sine ratio of uh, the trigonometric ratios. So in this case, um, sine needs the opposite and the hypotenuse. So 47 degrees is the angle. The opposite side is this one over here, and we don't know that one, so we can't use the first trigonometric ratio or trigonometry ratio. The second one is the cosine ratio. So the cosine ratio requires the adjacent and the hypotenuse, and that's what we've got. We've got the adjacent side, and we're trying to find the hypotenuse. So we're going to use the cosine ratio. So down here we're going to write up our equation. The cosine of 47 degrees is going to be equal to, and it's the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So in this case it's going to be this side length here, the 26, over the top of the hypotenuse, which is x, our unknown value. And we've got to now solve this for x. And so we're going to have to solve for a denominator. So the way that we can do this is the first thing we have to do is take the x away from being the denominator. At the moment our fraction is 26 divided by x. So the inverse operation of division is multiplication. So what we're going to do is multiply the right hand side by x. And if we multiply the right hand side by x, we also have to multiply the left hand side by x. So we're going to end up with x times cos 47 degrees is equal to 26 divided by x times x. Now because we've got a divided by x and a times x, those two values are going to cancel themselves out. And so we're left with x times cos of 47 degrees is equal to 26. Now this is much more solvable. Okay, remember that the cos of 47 degrees is a number, and so because we've got x times that number, what we can do is we can divide by the cos of 47 degrees to move it over to the right hand side. So if we divide the left hand side by x cos 47 degrees, we're going to be left with x, and whatever we do to the left hand side we must do to the right hand side. So we're going to be left on the right hand side by 26 divided by the cos of 47 degrees. We've now got our pro numeral on its own on the left hand side and we've got numbers on the right hand side. 26 is a number and the cosine of 47 degrees is a number. So we can then grab our calculators. And when we punch these values into our calculator we get 26 divided by the cosine of 47 degrees and we press equals and we end up with 38.12325888. Now we're looking for a side length, and so what we would do is round that to a number of decimal places. We're going to round it to two decimal places, and so that's going to be 38.12 equals 38.12, and that's rounded to two decimal places. So you can put 2dp just to show that it's rounded to two decimal places. So that's an example of solving for the denominator. Remember that x over here was the denominator when we first created our ratio.